So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because it is four or more lines long. So what I'm going to do is take a, a look at each sentence, one sentence at a time, and make sure to write down any quantitative information as I read it, instead of reading through the entire thing here. So the first sentence says, Kehlani used fabric measuring five yards in length to make each suit for a men's choir. So I'm going to just write down five yards equals one suit. That's what I get out of reading that first sentence. The relationship between the number of suits that Kehlani made, X, and the total length of fabric that she purchased, Y, in yards, is represented by the equation Y minus 5X equals 6. So I'll write that down. Y minus 5X equals 6. Again, where X is the so the, the, the number of suits that Kehlani made, I'm just underlining that, number of suits made is X, the total length is Y. All right. What is the best interpretation of six in this context? Hmm. I think, so, so what I like to do in cases like this is if X represents the number of suits that she made and Y represents the length of fabric that she purchased, well, what happens if x is equal to 0? Right? If she makes no suits, we'd have y equals 5 times 0. I'm sorry, y minus 5 times 0 equals 6. So, of course, that's just y equals 6. Well, that means she's buying um, fabric. She's buying 6 yards of fabric without making any suits. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's see. So, choice A, Kehlani made 6 suits. Well, no. Nope. You know, the x is the x is what's involved with telling you the number of suits that she made so that's definitely not it because i just plugged zero in for x and that's how i got six b kehlani purchased a total of six yards of fabric uh that's not true either um yeah that's not true either because she bought six yards of fabric without making any suits. If she makes suits, which is what this is all about, she will have purchased more than just six yards of fabric. Question, or choice C, Kehlani used a total of six yards of fabric to make the suits. No, definitely not true either. Really for the same reason B is not true. It doesn't make any sense. To cap the yards of fabric to make her suits. X is a variable, right? So she can make two suits, she can make 10 suits, she can make 30 suits. Um, X is a variable. Six is a constant. So that doesn't really make any sense. Choice D, Kehlani purchased six yards more fabric than she used to make the suits. Now that makes sense, right? Because that's saying that this, this six yards of fabric is not tied to the number of suits that she makes, which is why even if she made no suits at all, she still had this six yards of fabric. So she bought six yards of fabric just to make sure she had an extra six yards around, probably. And then she bought more fabric per suit, let's say, um, based upon, I don't know, people ordering suits one at a time. Who knows how her business model is? But this is the answer that makes the most sense is choice D, because, again, of this scenario where if there were no suits at all, she still has six yards of fabric. This is the only answer that really fits that there are six yards of fabric that have nothing to do with suits.